all I've been trying to do is set up a series of cool B-roll shots to show you guys and it, all this traffic makes it really fucking hard. Hello world, my name is Recuffs and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm a little interested in talking to you guys about employment. But before I do that, I want to go to a more secluded place because I'm walking just down the street in my neighborhood. And uh, I decided I'm just going to walk to the local river today. You're coming with me. Enjoy my talk. Let's go. Okay, so here's the deal with my thoughts on employment. I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons, yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm repping. The other day, I had to reject the closest thing to a job offer I have gotten in about, I don't know, two months. And I'll be honest, it, it kind of had me very torn, very conflicted on the inside. The supposed job that I ended up turning down was the job as a stand photographer for, ooh, there's a fish right there. And it, after a long period of thought, I ended up emailing the guy and telling him why, why I ended up turning down the job. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is nightmare fuel. I changed my mind. <laughs> oh, I changed my mind. I guess basically what it all boils down to when it comes to why I chose not to accept that job, the reasoning behind it is uh, just didn't pay enough. What the job offered just wasn't enough to get through my oh fuck. <laughs> to get through my daily expenses. Now you might be wondering why I was conflicted to turn down a job that clearly wasn't paying me enough, or wasn't going to pay me enough, I should say. And really, hold on one second, cars are coming. Will you hurry up and drive by, please? trying to vlog here and the reason why it was i'm so torn to turn down this job is because i always had the philosophy that no one is too good for any job you know i didn't know where my camera was it's right there Also, at the same time, I've also had the same job philosophy of, uh, well, you know, if you're good at something, don't do it for free. Don't do it for cheap, at least. Don't Definitely don't do it for free. Well, that's what that one job was going to turn into. Uh, they were going to pay me approximately, I think they said about 23 cents per photo I took. And taking into account travel and the amount of time invested, I'd be working about eight hours for, they said, a safe minimum of $70 a night. And it really isn't worth it. It just wasn't working that hard for what that job offered me just wasn't enough, you know? So I guess the only way I could really state it at least I don't even really know how I can state it. Employment and finding jobs can be really, really hard. And I guess if I'm going to summarize what I wanted to say about this, 
is even though I'm desperate for a job, desperate to prove that I can do, prove to people I can do what I can do, I'm still not gonna stoop low enough to be scammed, is a good way to put it, I guess. say otherwise at this point take it as a moral lesson take it as me being weird or whatever but hey I hope you enjoyed what you saw today and my opinions on employment even if it's not very opinionated you know what I mean it's just me babbling a little bit just a little bit but um either way thank you very much everybody for watching today and I will see you guys And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>take pictures using that that's handy <laughs> I'm so stupid